In this video, we will be learning about two topics. First of all, addition and subtraction of fractions with distinct denominators, and secondly, comparing fractions using shortcuts. So let's get started. First of all, addition and subtraction of fractions with distinct denominators. Okay. So the first question is four by seven plus two by five. So what we do is we write four into five that is twenty plus two into seven that is fourteen. Divide by seven into five, that is thirty-five. So the answer will come out to be thirty-four by thirty-five. All right. Now let's see the next question. The next question is ten two by five plus three one by six. Okay. So this can be written as ten plus three plus two by five plus one by six. So this is thirteen plus. Now this can be two into six is twelve. One into five is five. That is twelve plus five is seventeen. Divide by the product of the denominators. That is five into six. That comes out to be thirty. So the answer will be thirteen seventeen by thirty. Okay, let's move on. Now the next question is four by seven minus two by five. So what we do is four into five is twenty minus two into seven is fourteen. Divide by seven into five is thirty five. So this comes out to be equal to six by thirty five. Now let's check out the next question. So we have ten two by five minus three one by six. So this can be written as ten minus three plus two by five minus one by six. So ten minus three is seven. Two into six is twelve. One into five is five. So twelve minus five will give us a seven. Divide by five into six is thirty. So the answer can be written as seven seven by thirty. Now let's move on. Let's check out the concept of comparing fractions. So we have two questions. One is a very simple one. That is compare one by two, seven by eight, and four by five in increasing order. And the second is compare two seventy by seven seventy one, three seventy by eight seventy one, and four seventy by nine seventy one in increasing order. So for the first question, what we do is we make sure that the denominator is constant. So we will make one by two as Forty in the denominator and twenty in the numerator. Similarly, we will make seven by eight as thirty-five by forty, and we will write four by five as thirty-two by forty. Okay. Now, twenty is less than thirty-two is less than thirty-five. So, twenty by forty is less than thirty-two by forty is less than thirty-five by forty. Therefore, what is twenty by forty? Half. What is thirty-two by forty? Four by five. And what is thirty-five by forty? Seven by eight, and hence this is the answer. But there is a shortcut to this question, which will be applied in this question. Okay, so now this is a condition that you have to remember: if numerator is less than the denominator and their difference is a constant. Now, in this question, you may observe that the numerator one is less than two, seven is less than eight, and four is less than five. Also. The difference is one. Difference is one, and difference is one. In this question also, the numerator in every term is less than the denominator. So two seventy is less than seven seventy one, and for this question also, and for this fraction also, okay. And the difference that is seven seventy one minus two seventy is equal to eight seventy one minus three seventy is equal to nine seventy one minus four seventy, and all of this is actually equal to five zero one. All right. Then what we do is, then arrange fractions in increasing order by arranging their numerators in increasing order. So what we do is, we arrange the numerators in increasing order. We say two seventy is less than three seventy is less than four seventy, and hence the fractions are two seventy by seven seventy one, three seventy by eight seventy one, and four seventy by nine seventy one, and this is the increasing order of these. Fractions. All right, let's move on. Let's see a similar concept. Okay, but again a totally different question. So we have two by one, eight by seven, and five by four. And then we have another question: seven seventy one by two seventy, eight seventy one by three seventy, and nine seventy one by four seventy. So in the first question, what we do is we make sure that the denominators are the same. So we make the denominators at twenty eight in each case, and hence this will become fifty six. This will become thirty-two, and this will become thirty-five. 
Now, 56 is greater than 35 is greater than 32. So, 56 by 28 is greater than 35 by 28 is greater than 32 by 28. And hence, what is 56 by 28? 2 by 1. That is greater than 35 by 28. That is 5 by 4. And that is greater than 8 by 7. Okay. Because 2 by 1 is actually equal to 2. 5 by 4 is actually equal to 1.25. And 8 by 7 is 1.142857. Alright. So hence 2 is greater than 1.25 is greater than 1.142857 bar. Alright. Let's move on. So now to be able to solve this question. We observe that if numerator is more than the denominator. Now please observe in both these questions the numerators are greater than the denominators and the difference is a constant. So. 771 minus 270 is equal to 501. Similarly, 871 minus 370 is equal to 501. And 971 minus 470 is equal to 501. So, then what we do is, we then arrange fractions in increasing order by arranging their numerators in decreasing order. That is, we say 971 is greater than 871 is greater than 771. Okay. So, 971 divided by 470, 871 divided by 370 and 771 divided by 270. Now, when the numerators are in decreasing order, then the fractions will become in increasing order. So, that way the sign of inequality will change. And hence, this is going to be the answer for this question. Alright, I hope you have understood this concept. So, let's move on. Next. We have two questions again, 5 by 6, 6 by 7, 5 by 8 and similarly 245 by 246, 246 by 247 and 245 by 248. Alright, now what we do is, we compare these two numbers separately. Now obviously these two numbers, the numerator is less than the denominator that is 5 by 6 and 6 by 7. Compare these two numbers and we observe that the numerator is less than the denominator and the difference is a constant and hence we say that 5 by 6 is less than 6 by 7. And also we compare these two numbers so 5 by 6 and 5 by 8. Very obvious that 5 by 8 is less than 5 by 6. So combining these two equations we can say that 5 by 8 is the smallest number and 6 by 7 is the largest number. Thereby we get that 5 by 8 is less than 5 by 6 is less than 6 by 7. Alright, now we apply the same concept over here. So, when comparing these two numbers, we can state that 245 by 246 is less than 246 by 247. And when comparing these two numbers, we can obviously say that 245 by 248 is less than 245 by 246. Thereby we can say that this is the smallest number. So we have 245 by 248. And this is the largest number. 246 by 247. And this is going to be in the middle. So that is 245 by 246. Alright. I hope you have understood this concept. So let's move on. Next and the last two questions. Alright. So again here what we are going to do is. We are going to compare these two questions. And these two fractions. So. 6 by 5 and 7 by 6. Obviously, 6 by 5 is greater than 7 by 6. Okay. And 8 by 5 is greater than 6 by 5. Alright. So, hence, we can say that this is the largest number. So, 8 by 5. And this is the smallest number. 7 by 6. And 6 by 5 in, will come in the middle. So, we will have 8 by 5 is greater than 6 by 5 is greater than 7 by 6. Alright. Similarly, moving on. In this question, we can say that we will compare these two numbers and these two fractions. Okay. So, obviously, 246 by 245 is greater than 247 by 246. Okay. And also, 248 by 245 is greater than 246 by 245. Now, we club the above given data and hence we say that this is the largest number and this is the smallest number. So, we can write 248 by 245 is greater than 246 by 245 is greater than 247 by 246. Alright, that's all for this question. I hope you have understood this question. Thank you.